In today's video, I want to talk about what does a penetration tester do? So you might have heard about this term, you might have heard the term ethical hacker, but we'll go into more detail and really take a look at what does a penetration tester do. But before we get there, if you don't mind hitting the like button for this video and subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. So now let's go and take a look what a penetration tester really does. So a penetration tester is an information security professional that is hired to break things. That's really simplified what a penetration tester does. So the penetration tester is brought in to really take a look at existing systems and try to break into networks, computer applications, anything IT infrastructure, web servers, and I'm not saying just for random type of vulnerability. So the penetration tester is brought in to really explore and see if the network, the computer infrastructure is secure, or if there are any open backdoors, holes, vulnerabilities that a malicious hacker could actually use to break into the network, the application, whatever it is. So pen testers or penetration testers are brought in really to take a look at the existing infrastructure and applications that a company has and then trying to exploit known vulnerabilities, trying to look for misconfigurations and other type of situations that potentially would allow a malicious hacker to break into the network, the software application, the web server, be it from the outside, from the internet or internally. I mean, any type of IT related threats, you really have to think about the internal side and the external side. So if you have a disgruntled employee, that is a threat for your company's network and computer safety. So you never know really where an attacker is coming from and the penetration tester is there to help. Also, the companies often hire these individuals to have these simulated attacks and then verify that the countermeasures are actually working so that an attack is being recognized on the network, so that the attack is isolated or redirected to a honeypot as an example. So companies really want to make sure that the investments that they have made into information security are good investments and that the investments are working. So the penetration tester really simulates that and then the company's information security professionals, they are trying to identify, oops, yes, we have an attack. Then they're trying to isolate the attack and even potentially just learn from that attack and redirect it to something where no confidential data or information is made available. So it's really going both ways, A, finding a loophole. So that's what the penetration tester does. But on the other side that the company can verify, okay, our tools, our security, our countermeasures are working. So the penetration testers, they really really need to know their stuff. And that's a very simplified statement. So what I want to say here with really is that the penetration tester, when they are being brought in, they usually request information about what is the computer hardware, operating system, software application, and, and, and what is in use so that they can prepare. They are looking for the well-known hacks and uh, vulnerabilities for these systems. And then they're trying to go through one by one to exploit those and simply look for that opening that somebody forgot to close be it a firewall rule that is not properly configured or a web server that is not properly secured, these type of things. Same thing with when they have access to the data, what can they really do with the data? And I'm not saying, okay, there are social security numbers. No, what I mean is how can they get the data, not just see it there, but also pull it out of the company's network and potentially take it off site for, for different usage. So it could be that the data is being sold on the darknet if a real malicious hacker would get into the network or that they're trying to encrypt the data and then ask for a ransom from the company. So that's really the approach what a penetration tester does. It's a very structured approach usually and they need to know really more about the infrastructure. Of course, they will also look around and try to find other loopholes and situations that they might not be aware of. But it's not just the random poking around looking for vulnerabilities. So the penetration tester really works in conjunction with the information security professional for the company and they of course know that it's coming and they are looking for it. So it's really going both ways and maybe the staff that the company has on board is just not suited and educated well enough to prevent an attack from happening once they realize that the attack is in progress. So penetration testing usually happens in different phases and now we're going to take a look at those five phases and what they include. 
In phase one, when the penetration tester has been hired, this individual really just takes inventory. So the individual goes out on the internet, goes potentially into the darknet, and is just trying to look for information related to that company. What is out there? What systems are potentially being discussed in some darknet forum? So that individual then will really take that information and see, okay, is there anything that will help me to break into the network and then really start the actual attack? I mean, pretty much anything on the internet today is being constantly attacked and they are like these random attacks. What the penetration tester really is trying to do in that moment is trying to find a well-known loophole about a company's network or the web servers that they are running as an example. So if that information is out in the wild, they will find it and they will use that to start their attack. And that brings me to phase two. So whatever the penetration tester now knows about the company networks and systems, now the penetration tester will start scanning for these vulnerabilities or weaknesses. So that's really, I have the knowledge, now I go and I just start scanning, looking for an entry point, looking for a weakness, looking for a misconfiguration. Now phase three and four are really combined. So now that the penetration tester knows what weaknesses are around, has scanned for access, found a loophole, found a backdoor, whatever it is, now that individual is trying to go into the network and start the actual attack. So in phase three, the penetration tester knows that he or she is being monitored. So it's not just going in and start poking around and stealing stuff, but also trying to evade any type of detection. So that's really a critical piece because the more time an attacker has to be in your network and to look for data or anything of value, the more benefit for that malicious hacker exists. So countermeasures usually really trying to quickly identify this and of course the ethical hacker or the penetration tester knows that. So what this individual does is go in and then just trying to secure the access, potentially creating another backdoor so that he or she has access in a different way just in case that original loophole gets closed. So once the access into the network is secured, that's when phase four happens, that's when the penetration tester goes, takes an actual inventory of what he or she finds and then looks for data and other valuable pieces of information. Phase five is usually really just like covering my tracks. So if I'm the penetration tester, I got into the network, I secured databases and other pieces of confidential information, I was able to download those to my own laptop and now I'm trying to cover my tracks. So that's really what phase five is about. So for one, you created another backdoor potentially to get back into the network, but now you are trying to hide everything. You're trying to clean out log files. You just wanna make sure that nobody can actually see that you accessed a database or a web server, whatever it is. So that's really phase five covering the tracks and that's really the, I wanna say the entire portion of that organized attack that a penetration tester is asked to do. So A, retrieve information publicly available to potentially get into the network. Once in the network, create another backdoor and really just identify where am I, trying to prevent being found by the countermeasures. So then with phase three and four, going in, really looking for the data, making access available where needed, pulling data down with nobody noticing it. And in phase five, really then going in, covering the tracks and potentially leaving the back door in place to come back at a later time. And sometimes you read it in the news, these attacks are going on for months because nobody on the internal side found out about it. And that's really a big value that the penetration tester can provide once hired by a company. So I hope this gives you a high level insight about what a penetration tester does. I will provide additional videos with information how you can become a penetration tester or how much money a penetration tester earns and what else you may need to know to identify if that is a role in information technology, specifically more information security that you wanna potentially pursue. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so as well. And then I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.